Hi everyone, I'm making this video because I found a feature in Blue Iris version 5 uh, that I found really helpful and there seems to be some confusion out there as to how it works. Now I will say I'm new to Blue Iris. I, I just downloaded it a couple days ago and I've never used it prior to that. Uh, but I'm in the process of setting it up with some new PoE cameras that I have. Here's what I found. I found this page on Reddit that suggests that you can use a substream to lower the CPU utilization of your cameras. And after a little bit of testing, I found this to be absolutely the case. Uh, looking at my CPU utilization, I'm averaging 5-6%, something like that, with 8 cameras running, uh, and these are the Reolink 4 megapixel cameras, and they're running at full, uh, full HD, or the highest definition, and 15 frames per second. To do this, you edit your camera settings under the video tab configuration and you add the substream to your camera configuration. Now one thing I noticed is my system seems to be recording the substream only and not the mainstream and several other people had noticed that as well. Uh, several people in this reddit thread I scroll down, uh, there's a few people here who have said that they're doing the same thing. They're only getting the substream. After a little bit of testing, I figured out how, at least on these cameras, to get this to work in the full stream or, or, or work properly. Uh, and I wanted to detail that in this video. One user who has the same cameras as I did actually posted their settings and configuration. Uh, this can be seen here where he's using a, the cameras as generic and has these uh, mainstream and substream parameters in here. Uh, this works but it works with a weird caveat and I'll show you what that is. So looking at my alerts in UI3 I made a test video with the same parameters that user was using. Looking at the quality of this video, it appears to be recorded in the substream. Uh, it's somewhat blurry and I can see you know, pixelation. Uh, but upon further inspection, if you zoom in, it clears up. This is telling me that the playback is in the substream or the lower quality perhaps, but the actual video itself was recorded in the full quality or full HD quality. If you have these Reolink 410 cameras and you want to set it up that way, you'll come under camera settings, video, configure, and I recommend just putting the IP address, password, or username, password, and clicking find and inspect. It will automatically populate the main field just highlight this, copy it, paste it down here in the substream, and replace main with sub. That's everything you need to do to configure the substream in that fashion as a generic camera. But again, it comes with the caveat that the playback on your videos is going to have this lower resolution. It is recorded in the higher resolution, but you have to zoom in to see that. There is an alternative that I found. That alternative is to configure it as a Reolink camera. So back under configure and select Reolink from the list. It will automatically populate this mainstream parameters. So go ahead and copy that again and paste it down here and replace the words main with sub. And press OK. With this configuration you don't have the low resolution playback. Scrolling up a little bit, here's a test I did with this other configuration. You'll see with this new configuration the playback in UI3 is also in the full high definition, not just when you zoom in. But either way, 
both seem to be recording in the full high definition, but the playback in UI3 shows as lower definition when you use the camera as a generic camera. Hope that helps someone. Uh, this may apply to other cameras as well, uh, but this works for me.